how to do well against dead branch just frost damage so cold antibodies or freeze immunity if you have that i don't know if it exists but if it does use it and fire damage i'll go ahead and show my build in the actual hunt i guess because someone said it'd be nice for you to build i will show the build it's just a assassin's edge pistola with a bunch of weak point crit crit rape and stuff like that okay so in this case this is basically my build these right here and then you want fire mods like this on every weapon. Gotta be quick now. Alright, so her weak spots... I got two console. I'm just kidding. Her weak spots are gonna be... The core cap, middle of the chest, underneath a certain region. You got little sensors on her, on her side of her heads, shoulders, and behind her calves. Okay, taking that damage right there is... Unlucky. But yellow numbers are going to be weak spots. Pretty much always. And if you crit, it's always orange. I'll have the ads, don't worry. Yeah, let me go ahead and heal real quick. You can just sidestep most of the stuff happening here. See, those 69k crits, 75k crits. Yeah, those are weak spots. And then now, I can just move. I can't see it that well because of the angle. That, it's like a little circle on the side of her head. You can kind of see it now. That's another weak spot. The moment she goes immune, just get ready to run. That's all I'm going to say. If she goes immune, get ready to run. And you guys can't hear it because I'll probably turn it down. But my game volume is so loud. I feel like the... Audio, the EQ in this game is tragic. During that move, which is one of them in the air, like she's like asking a question, don't stand underneath her. We got a little lucky. There's a move she does. I keep doing that. I keep breaking shoulder pads and folks are on them. That's my bad. There's a move she does where if you're in a close range, after she's casting something, she just rains on a bunch of icicles on you, which hurts. Oh my god. Who does that? Uh, I want this healing and ammo. I can't even. That's so rigged. She's gonna go like right now. Psych. I want to shoot the the sensors. I want to crit on the sensors. I think I hit for like maximum. There's the immunity. After this, just run away. Just find something to grapple to and grapple away. Because she does this frost thing. If you die in that frost zone, you will probably just die. And during this phase, you want to shoot the purple, pink. I've said this like seven times. I keep saying it wrong. Not that, but just the audio isn't as, as what I'd like it to be. Anywho, the pink little vials on her gun. Shoot those. She's someone to add. So go ahead and handle those. Hell, damn dudes. She can shoot through that? The more you know. If that hits you, you get frozen. And I think it hits for max. Oh, I messed up. You gotta grapple away. You gotta just grapple away. One guy got knocked. I don't even know where, because... It don't show up for me. Okay. So these are the pink vials. After two frost phases, she de-enrages most of the time. I'm not sure if it's a damage threshold, but she knows she de-enrages. And just side strafing will let you avoid most of her damage. But be careful, because these icicles she's going to drop. Yeah, they're... If that hits you, you pretty much get one shot. At least I do. Ammunition. Gotta be careful that always. These small ads will drop ammunition in every fight you partake in. So just be aware of grabbing whatever type you need. Gray is basic. Orange is special. Purple is whatever it is. And then blue is impact. 72k crit is crazy. 
the gray damage is not so crazy. Loading. Go ahead and break the structure so I can actually do damage. The damage fall off here, a little less than fortunate. Oh, uh, if I get, yo, that's so 84k. <gasps> I'm out. I'm sorry. You just gotta grapple away. She goes immune, just start running in the opposite direction. That's all you have to do. And I promise you, you'll have a better time. So to all my Randys that keep dying that stuff, just run away. She's immune. She's literally immune. Literally. I can't see anything. And the moment the frost goes away, or not the moment, but shortly after this frost goes away, another one is gonna spawn. She's gonna TP probably and spawn another one. So after this, shortly after this, she's gonna do it. Why me? Why, why me? I, I don't deserve that. I messed up. I unpopped my frenzy to try and heal, and there's no heal available. Now there is. And I would snipe her. Oh my god! I would snipe, but like... It's so close range. And I have more, a better crit rate on this pistol than I do my sniper. Okay, wait. We're doing big damage. Team, where we at? Don't get too close to the minions, by the way. They like spin and knock you back, which is a little bit less than ideal. I tell you what. Loading. Yeah, are we good? Just sidestepping, side strafing, and she can't really do much to you. Just kidding. Jumping is still one of the most underrated mechanics in the game. Just jump over some... Like, you can jump over a lot of things. On the next boss... No, no, on the acid guy, the third guy, the instructor. Jumping is clean. 87k is something different. I think I have a free DPS window there. Can we just go ahead and phase her? So we don't have to deal with the third phase. Be kind of lit. There's potential. Why me? I think that this guy doesn't know this fall off damage. And just in case it wasn't clear, the back of her calf is another weak spot. And there it is. Barely. Barely lived that. I was already half HP and I noticed that and I was I was worried. So fun fact, if you stand in the Narnia shooting a boss, you'll do less damage. There's fall off damage, which affects your stuff heavily. A snapper can go from hitting for 100k to hitting 30k on a crit. Want this? A new frost zone coming very shortly. He's gonna go ahead and TP probably to us. She'll likely leave that guy alone because she's been chasing him for a while. And if not. Oh my god. He's so dead. If he lives that, he's the tankiest dude in the game. Nah, he's he's dead. I don't think I can't get him. If he's in the middle of the zone, I will die getting I'll die resing him. We have two reses, which is fine. The boss is going to die anyway. We're, we're good. Now I need to trip. Now I need to trip. Um. Yeah. You can cancel animations or attacks by doing that move. I think we win the game. Nice. See, that's my first, that's my first uh, pug today. Went pretty well. You will not always get good teammates. That's why the name of the game is how to do well versus the bosses. Because saying how to beat the boss, you're asking for a lot sometimes. You can't just always win. No. But that went pretty well. That's how you beat Debrod. Hopefully it helped you in some way. If you did, a like, a comment, a share with your grandmam goes a long way.
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Wait, what's the damage? I keep forgetting. I get ahead of myself. What's the damage there? 7, seven mil? 7.5 mil. I used to do 6.1. Now I'm doing 7.5. How much HP does the boss have, though? That's what I want to know. Anywho, peace.